all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's get into the ta all right so starting here on qq we are going to start on the 15 minute time frame because we do have a minute and 45 seconds left so we'll take a look at the daily candlesticks after that closes but i do want to point out we're getting something running up into the end of the day which is this breakout of the inverse head and shoulders formation over here on qq what do we have over here in spy oh we have the same inverse head and shoulders formation over here so we do have bullish structure on these smaller time frames and yeah that is something i will point out the next thing i will bring up is that es still has held that bullish divergence all right you have a one point you have two you have three you have four you have five points of bullish divergence going on here um or four which either way quadruple bullish divergence on es and then nq you have one two let's just say one two three four five points of divergence over here on nq so Oh, and look what is happening over here on SPY. What do we have? We do have a breakout from that inverse head and shoulders formation over here in SPY. So I do have to assume we are likely to run up to the next point of resistance, which is a whole whopping dollar and 60 cents above up at 449.48 all the way up there. So that is going to be the next stop for SPY. QQQ, where's the next stop over here for QQQ? 37245, the high of this candlestick right here. And then after that, we will be testing up here. But I do want to point out, this is in a descending channel here. And if we do run up to there, you're going to also get another breakout out of this downtrending channel over there. And on SPY, what do we have? We actually do have a breakout on that descending channel which i believe i put on the four hour time frame but we can take that off and we can actually bring that up here let's just look at it like that all right and how did i get this guys we just literally delete that you come over here to this trend line and you hit control and you drag a new one and there you go there's your parallel channel if you do want to watch this on the four hour time frame then hey you can really just Use this right there and you are getting a breakout as we speak but we will just call it safe and put it right there but QQ guys you are very close to running up over there and yeah all right breaking out from there which will be pretty sexy for some upside action then after we do that we likely do head up to the next resistance at 375.29 now that the daily candles have closed out let's just take a look at the daily time frame and see what we can pull out of here let's just clean it up get rid of these sloppy arrows right there i want to point out this is something that hasn't taken place this whole correction here and i call it correction because that's what we've been referring to as the whole entire time we have not been referring it to as, as a crash because you know guys we had conditions that just didn't make sense what i just showed you on esnq guys that has been here for so freaking long at this point all right this started forming we started seeing these as of this candlestick right here all right that was last tuesday so we've been uh chowing from the rooftops on that since last tuesday so there you go well actually no never mind we we knew there was a bullish divergence going on from oversold territory as of two thursdays ago all right so from from the third guys it's now the 13th or it's now the 14th 13th was yesterday I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream if you were there with me yesterday we'll be doing another another one next third or ne not next thursday next sunday going over setups going into the week which i'll just point out right now mu all right mu holy j i wish i just had extended hours on and saw that the four hour rsi was oversold i would have definitely been looking to buy over here i would have made the setup here and not all the way down there this thing had an absolute nasty day a six percent day crazy all right the biggest day who would have thought the biggest day that it would have in quite some time so you you have to go all the way back over here to uh you know end of may to see a big day like that but yeah come back over here to spy and qq i do want to point out you have a wide body green candlesticks where it did show bulls were in control the whole day no wick above you close the high of day that in my opinion is extremely bullish you come over here to qq what do you have a bullish engulfing candlestick with the same exact Buyer seller psychology going on. Sellers got trampled all day long. The bulls were in control the whole entire day. Sellers tried pushing down, but as I did point out in the weekly update, because we had bearish catalyst last week, all right, CPI did not come in hot, but it was the first tick up in inflation since last May. 
all right may of 2022 and then what did we also had we had ppi on a miss that's the first miss of quite some time and guess what the sellers could not capitalize on that event and that happened and then also guys we had the credit downgrade what did we have on the week last week on SPY? We had a 0.26% down week. That is not a crash like we saw back in 2011 where the first week was a minus 7% week. All right. And up here, the week up, minus 2%. So honestly, in my opinion, guys, we uh, we likely already have our bottom in. I'm just going to say that. You break out from this channel over here on QQQ, you break above. Uh, honestly, you know, we'll just use a level 375.29 as confirmation bottoms very likely in all right but regardless and actually i am going to point out low volume day on spy very low volume day on spy you have to come back all the way which in my opinion when we see these low volume days it just means you're not going to stay there for long um and yeah that that is how i've i've used that all right over here you had a very low volume day guess what all right next day was a big green day you didn't stay in this consolidation for for long over here, this is the last uh, comparable volume day. Now, I do want to point out that was where you, you know, you started cliff diving there. Uh, you did have a, uh, was that 1.5% pullback? But as you guys see, we already have had our pullback over here in SPY. I'm not saying we can't go back down and swipe out those lows. We did not fill that gap down below. But if you just disregard the gap pill, let's just take this off for the sake of this explanation here all right for this this equation this sexy looking you know stock market equation we're looking at guys you have a very sexy breakout retest what happens next uh, i don't know all right are you gonna use this thing as your whole ass bull flag there you could all right you had like a similar look to this over here and then boom i'm not saying we're gonna go back up and test those highs but i am saying there's a chance we do and we have the setup to do so and right now is the ground floor to that setup well back here when we we're calling out the retest here you go go check out it was in my thumbnails just to get you guys to click on this uh, the, on that video to show you guys that was what was going on all right guess what break and retest here was the ground floor of the setup if you really wanted to risk it for the biscuit there was your your entry over there i personally wanted this 44297 gap fill and then i wanted to go back up we did not get that all right but i did also point out iwm first of all we'll actually bring this up right now hammer candlestick where is this hammer st candlestick stemming from exactly where you broke out from all right this is your breakout zone that's where your sellers first started really stepping in and put shoving you down over here shoved you down there shoved you down there breakout explosive breakout going on you had a gap up once you had this break you had a gap up over that that was actually on cpi um but yeah, all right, hammer candlestick going on here. If you really want something to risk, risk the bottom of this candlestick or the bottom of the zone. I'm personally doing the bottom of the zone. Um, but yeah, just something I thought I'd put on your radar. Perfect spot to put in a hammer candlestick. And again, this is just something supporting my bull case over here. And I don't want to sit here saying like, oh, I'm trying to persuade everyone. No, guys, I just, I've been trying to tell you guys the whole time. We had a bear case once we broke down below here. QQ also had a bear case once it broke down below here. So on this candlestick right here, we, we told you guys we're likely going lower. What was the spot we were looking for? QQQ. Boom. Boom. What was the spy spot we were looking for? Boom. Boom. All right, guys, we're here. So this is what we're waiting on. If you think like, if, if you're bearing, you're not happy with what you just got, I'm just letting you know, all right? You already saw some, you know, you saw, if you're going to say, oh, we didn't even get a big correction. We didn't even get a big correction. All right, guys. All right. The breakout was here. You gave back the whole breakout, 3.5%. You gave back the whole entire breakout right there. Now, if we're going to actually do this, let's just see if we get a golden pocket test right here. Do we? I'm guessing we do. Oh, what do you have? So guys, this is what I'm saying. Everything looks like overwhelmingly bullish to me on the smaller time frames on the larger time frames and I'm, I'm just saying we're on the ground floor right now we don't have confirmation on the daily time frame yet that bottom is in we don't we don't have that confirmation yet i'm just pointing that out but if i had to take a guess very educated guess here going off of the stuff the material that we cover here on this channel i'm gonna say this was your bottom all right do I want it not to be the bottom so I can enter at that gap fill? Yeah, but I am also going to say right now, if you do do that, that kind of, you know, that's going to 
it's not going to look good. So if you want the bull case to continue, you don't want this thing to come back down. But if it does, all right, just know we're watching that gap fill. Because, you know, sellers have been trying here at this, you know, that's, uh, I know there's so many lines here. Let me just go like this quickly, get our fib off. Come on, how many clicks are you, you doing here? All right, uh, just look at this, all right? Sellers have struggled. You haven't really gone anywhere. From all the way over here, you have not gone anywhere. You've gone down within like, what, half a percent? All right, no, 0.8%. 8 so you've gone a little places, but you can't say it was much. But I will point out, this was a low volume day, so I do assume we're not gonna stay here for long. Either this was a big ass bull trap, and we're going to have a, you know, big move down or we're going to get a big move up. That is what the low volume is telling me. And yeah, all right, coming over here to QQQ. All right, what is the levels we are watching here? Um, well, clearly over here, on the, I just showed you guys on the hourly time frame, you did break above the level we were watching for, which was your neckline right here. You had the, the inverse head and shoulders going on. You broke up. So the next level we're going to be watching is 372.45. But the major one that we're going to be watching here on the daily time frame is going to be um, after that, 375.29. If you can break above there, all right, guys, that's where the bulls got stopped right here, all right, on this bull trap. So that is going to be something of significance. But really, guys, you're just waiting for a breakout from this channel, and that is going to uh, tell you that things are changing. Regardless, you have a big, fat, wide-bodied, bullish candlestick going on here. You haven't seen one of these th things for quite some time, all right? All um, right. And you know, I'm just saying, it's not being done at the top like these ones over here. No, this was after a correction. We did also point out in the weekly update, you come over here and put a line in your RSI. Where did you last have your two bounces? Right here. All right. So like, you know, if this was just a pullback, I understand you just had a decent sized day here, but I'm just going to tell you, you're still kind of on the ground floor. If you're looking at it in comparison to this over here, all right, um, you know, there's that. If you're looking in comparison to over here, right? Oh, there's that. 10% and a 20% move. We're going to get another big move here. I don't know. But, you know, next stop is going to be all-time highs. And if you now look at the weekly chart, we're going to address this on the weekly update. Get that white thing out of there. Get that out of there. Get off my shots. Right here. All right. This was literally what I addressed in the weekly time in the weekly update. I didn't say you had bullish candlesticks going on here like SPY. All right. You had a little bit of stopping power step on in from these bulls. Let me just go like that. All right. Uh, where is it? There it is. All right. There's one more. There it is. Um, like over here, you had the bottom wick going on over here on the weekly chart over here on SPY. And then QQQ did not have that going on. So sellers were definitely in control. But. You're also just back testing where you broke out from and had this big bullish candle going on right here, right? This was a pretty wide body candle as well. So, um, you know, guys, things ain't looking too bad. And you come over to IWM, I also did point this one out, right? You're just back testing the zone. And then what did we get today? The first day to start off the week, you put in this candlestick on the daily time frame and you back test the zone perfectly. I'm just saying, guys, things ain't looking too shabby. And. Fix. We'll finish off with Mr. Fix. I'm going to reiterate what I said in the past few videos. This is look bullish to you. Don't look bullish to me. And that's it. All right. With that being said, I will catch y'all in the next one. Everybody have a lovely rest of your day, and I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.